In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change margins in PowerPoint. Adjusting margins in your presentation can significantly enhance your design, whether you want to emphasize particular content or just give your slides a cleaner look. Let's walk through the process together step by step. First, you'll want to open PowerPoint on your computer. If you've last worked on a project, you'll probably see it in the recent documents list upon opening the program, making it easy to pick up where you left off. Navigate to the specific PowerPoint presentation you'd like to edit. This part is pretty straightforward, but knowing where your file resides, whether on the cloud or on your local drive, can save you some time. Once your presentation is open, direct your attention to the Design tab. This tab holds a variety of layout customization features that can alter the overall look of your slides. Clicking on it will display a range of options, but for now, focus on the slide size feature. Now find and click on slide size. A drop down menu will appear and you'll want to select the custom slide size option. This is where you have the power to adjust the dimensions of your slides to better meet your needs, including modifying the margins indirectly. Within the custom slide size settings, look for the slide sized for menu. It usually defaults to a standard layout, but here scroll through the options and select custom. This choice allows you to explicitly set both the height and width of your slides, thereby influencing the margins by adjusting the overall slide dimensions. This next part is crucial, typing in the dimensions. Begin with the width. You'll notice the units might be in inches, centimeters or pixels depending on your system settings. Enter your desired width and then proceed to type in the height. Again, ensure these numbers make sense for what you're hoping to achieve, whether it's more space for content or to support a specific layout. Once your dimensions are set, click OK. PowerPoint will need some guidance on what to do with the existing content on your slides, given that you've just changed the canvas size. This is where you choose how you'd like your content to fit in the new space. The software will prompt you with options, so consider how critical it is to maintain the proportionality of elements. You'll have two primary choices, maximize or ensure fit. Maximize will try to fill the new slide dimensions with your existing content, which might cause cropping. On the other hand, ensure fit will shrink or stretch elements as needed to make sure nothing gets cut off. Make a selection based on how your content layout might change and then click the button to finalize your choice. And there you have it. You've successfully adjusted the margins, or rather the size of your slide, to better fit your presentation requirements. With these newly set dimensions, your slides should now reflect the professional and polished presentation style you're aiming for.